temperature control is critical in hydraulic systems. Even with the best circuit design, there are always power losses in converting mechanical energy into fluid power. Heat is generated whenever fluid flows from high to low pressure without producing mechanical work. Heat exchangers may be required when operating temperatures are critical or when the system cannot dissipate all the heat that is generated. There are two basic types of heat exchangers. Each is based on a different cooling medium. Water-cooled heat exchangers and air-cooled heat exchangers. If cooling water is available, a shell and tube heat exchanger may be preferred. Cooling water is circulated through a bundle of bronze tubes from one end cap to the other. Hydraulic fluid is circulated through the unit and around the tubes containing the water. The heat is removed from the hydraulic fluid by the water. There are advantages to this type of cooler. They are the least expensive, they are very compact, they do not make noise, they provide consistent heat removal year-round, and they are good in dirty environments. The disadvantages are, water costs can be expensive. With rupture, oil and water may mix, and usually require regular maintenance from mineral buildup. Air-cooled heat exchangers consist of a steel radiator core through which oil flows while a strong blast of air passes across the core. In industrial applications, the air is pushed by an electric motor-driven fan. The advantages of this type of air-cooled heat exchanger are they eliminate problems associated with cooling water, they have low installed costs, and the dissipated heat can be reclaimed. The disadvantages are there is a higher installation cost, noise levels range from 60 to 90 decibels, and they are larger in size than comparable water-cooled equipment.